Okay, let's have a look here. Some configurations. Um, so this this would be three x minus a half x squared three zero. So that would be three times three is nine minus three squared is nine over two that's 18 over two minus nine over two that's nine over two um this one here is the same but uh just different limits so that would be nine minus nine over two minus six plus four over two that's nine over two and then this is minus 12 over two so that's minus eight over two is that a half i think this is equal to um it's symmetric it's even isn't it so i think this would be equal to twice zero to three three minus x dx um which is three x times two two times three x minus a half x squared three zero so that would be nine um I think this would be twice three to six three minus x plus three the x so that would be twice six minus a half x squared three to six that's a half six minus 36 over two minus six plus nine over two they cancel they cancel yeah and then 36 minus 36 plus nine so what's that minus 27 um okay let me check these answers so far. Correct. Correct. Check, 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 check. Correct. Zero six three. Mm. No. That should be nine. So bum 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 bum. Let's see if I put in six minus thirty six over two 
minus 6 plus 9 over 2. Mm. So maybe my trick of the 2 here doesn't work. Okay, so I'll have to... Uh, I don't think I got the symmetry quite right there to reduce my work. What I will do, however, is to split the integration up into two. So I could definitely go with zero, three, and then this is negative. So this becomes minus minus x plus 3 and then 3 to 6 3 minus x minus 3 so 3 minus 3 okay that's gone so that's just x dx plus 3 to 6 3 minus x plus 6 minus x. So that's x squared over 2, 3, 0, plus 6x. Oh, did I forget the x when I integrated the tree? I feel like I did. I think that's what the problem was. Hmm. Yeah, okay, minus x squared over 2, 3, 6. Okay, so that's, let me see now. That's 9 over 2 plus 36 minus 36 over 2 minus 18 plus 9 over 2. That's 18 over 2. Minus 18 plus 36 minus 18. That's 9. Yep, yeah, that's right now. I think I just forgot the blooming x when I integrated. How absolutely careless. Careless. Okay. This one requires a substitution. Um, I can just, I can just up it down here so like the idea is you have integration something like a squared minus x squared dx and if you draw a triangle here um what would we go with i think like this is x and um, you could say this is a and this is root a squared minus x squared and that's theta. Um, or maybe actually it'd be better to call this one. No, I need to have an, an a squared. Yeah. So this has to be a and this has to be root a squared minus x squared. So you could say cos theta is a over root a squared minus x squared. So maybe it would be better to call this a and call this x. Um, uh, 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 uh. No, no, that's not the correct substitution. Hang on, let me think. So I was thinking about the integration, and I think I have it. I think the substitution is to let x equal a cos theta. Um, I think this substitution will do it from the triangle because then what you get then, I think, 
you can get dx d theta that's equal to minus a sine theta so then this integration would become integration of a squared minus a squared cos squared so that becomes a root 1 minus cos squared which is sine squared and the root of sine squared is sine so that's a sine theta and then the dx so i guess if i didn't want the minus perhaps i could change this to sine and then this would become cos so then this would be root a squared minus a squared sine squared that's one minus sine squared that's cos squared so that would be a cos theta uh, dx but dx is a cos theta d theta so this becomes a squared cos squared d theta So I can integrate the cos squared by using one of the double, the, the uh, one of the angle formulas. Let me get it. So um, it, the formula is cos two theta is two cos squared theta minus one. So that means uh, cos squared theta would be cos 2 theta plus 1 over 2 d theta. So that becomes a squared over 2. And then that's going to be sine 2 theta over 2 plus um, theta now that's just for theta so this here would be a squared which is 2 but oh, that's a squared there so that's 4 over 2 sine 2 theta over 2 plus theta and the 2 and the minus 2 so the 2 that would be when the theta is pi over 2 and minus pi over 2 so that would be sine pi and sine minus pi they're both zero so this would just be two times pi over two plus pi over two that's pi over two let me check on the calculator minus two to two square root four minus x squared do, 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 check in, check in, still check in. Still checking. Hmm. Checking on my software here. Wow, taking a while. Maybe I can set up the next one here. The x minus three is a bit of a pain. It's going to be a different substitution needed here, slightly different. Uh,
There we go. Mm. Answer is 2 pi, not pi over 2. Oh, of course it's... <laughs> of course it is. Oh, well, I... Huh. I got pi. Not 2 pi. So, I'm missing... Uh, something's gone wrong with a 2 somewhere. Yes, of course, sorry, pi plus pi is 2 pi. Yep, sorry. Correct. Correct. Okay. Now, um, this one here. Uh, what's, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I guess if I was to put here... Um, I think what I can do is shift this integral. You know, um, if you were to sketch this, what it would look like is a semicircle consistent at 3 with radius of 2 so that's a 5 and a 1 so we could move that leftwards so it goes from minus 2 to 2 it's actually the same as the previous one isn't it so the shift this left we'd have to for the function uh add tray to the x variable but to the uh limits we would have to subtract tray so if i shift this left translate left Subtracting 3, that's minus 2 to 2. Root 4 minus x squared dx. And that will still equal 2 pi. Uh, likewise, I'll translate this leftwards by 6. So that's minus 6 to 6. Root 6 squared minus x squared dx. So that would be... 36 over 2, so that's 18, and that's sine 2 theta over 2 plus theta pi over 2 minus pi over 2. Uh, that would be eighteen times pi, eighteen pi. Let me check on the calculator again. And then the last one here, again, I'll have to split this up into two. So that would be minus two to zero, three plus x. dx plus uh, 0 to 3, 3 minus x dx, that would be 3x plus x squared over 2 plus 3x minus x squared over 2, put in 0, nothing there, put in minus 2, 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. 
2 squared is 4, 4 over 2 is 2, plus 9 minus 9 over 2, so that one there, uh, 9 minus 2 is 7, 7 plus 6 is 13, 13, so this is 13 minus 9 over 2, so that's 26 over 2, 26 minus 9, so is that 17 over 2? 56. That last one's correct, by the way. Uh, let me check this last one now. And then let's check the answers. Oh, I'm not probably looking at the wrong one. Hang on. Uh -huh. Correct. 79 is 9. Correct. 81 is 2 pi. Correct. 83 is 9 minus a half. Eighty three nine minus a half. Seventeen over two. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So so that looks all correct now. Looks like it's all correct now. Let me see, let me see, let me see. How far have we gone to now? Oh, using area formulas. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Using the area formulas. Sigh. All right, let's have a look here. So this one here. That's a triangle. So's that one. So's that one. So's that one. That's a half circle. That's the same. That's a half circle. And that's a triangle. So this is a circle here, that's a half pi r squared, so that's 2 pi, that one's the same, that's a half pi times 36, so that's 18 pi, uh, that's a triangle now, positioned at Three. It's two triangles actually. Uh, three and then at 
that's minus two. Okay, let's see, that's tree. And then that's a tree there. Then at minus two, that's a, a one. Hmm? So Okay, so it's this triangle, this triangle, and this rectangle, and this is a height of three. So that's half the base times the height plus half the base, which is one, times the height, which is two, plus two. So that's 8.5. That one's right. This is the same as question 83, just plus a little bit extra. So it's like that. It's just a big triangle. So nine, I think. Um, this one we could shift left tree units, so this one's the same. And then this one here, when x is 0, we have tree, and when x is tree, we have 0. So that's 9 over 2. And then just the 2, so that would be a half times the height, which is 1. So it's just a half, is it? Hey. Let's see. Seventy seven is a half. Seventy nine is nine. Eighty one is two pi. And 83 is eight and a half. So there you go. I've done this exercise twice now. Once because I misread it. That's a very valuable lesson to us all. And a second time the correct way. Or at least the way that they asked for. So that's enough for today for sure.